Hey guys, what's happening? Tech Experts here with another Photoshop tutorial. Last time I did a Cinema 4D tutorial, which I hope you guys enjoyed. But this time it's going to be Photoshop. And what I'm going to teach you is how to create your own pattern. So the first thing you're going to do is open up Photoshop, File, New. And so you can name it whatever you want. We're going to name this one. Uh, Scratch pad, I guess. Yeah, we'll name it that. Scratch pad. Alright, so you get your little tiny square. Now you can zoom in if you want. So you get that. And now, the next thing you're going to do is create your backdrop. I uh, like to use black. So you're going to create black and see you got that checkerboard pattern. Now, the next thing you're going to do is grab your line tool. And you're going to switch your colors to white or any other color you want. Then you're going to do just make any design you want. I'm going to do this with a crisscross criss -cross pattern. However, you may do with it what you please. Actually, that looks pretty ugly. Okay, um. Let's try this. There we go. All right, so okay, there's your pattern. Now you don't have to do exactly what I did. You can do any kind of direction you want, but this is just a crisscross. You can do lines. You can do whatever you whatever you choose, because it's your pattern. So once you got your pattern sorted out, the next thing you're gonna do is go to Edit, Define Pattern. Okay. Now this is where you get to name it if you haven't already named it. I named it, let's name it Chris. I don't know how you spell this. Crisscross? Crisscross? Like that? I don't know. And click OK. And then now it's saved. It's defined as a pattern. So the next thing you do when you go and open up a new one. Uh, 1280 by 720. Okay, we're going to do that. And I'm going to create a backdrop. And how you create a backdrop when you do something is you're going to do gradient overlay. Go over to the style, radial. I like to do reverse. Move the scale all the way up to 150%. And then gonna go and create lighter gray instead of a black. Because you don't want the black, it looks really ugly. So we're gonna do a light gray. There we go. So there's your backdrop. So once you have your backdrop, the next thing you're gonna do is go back to blending options and do pattern overlay where is it working if I can find it pattern overlay now I don't like that so we're gonna go with the crisscross pattern and apparently my opacity needs to be lowered on the alright so we're gonna lower the opacity just a bit pattern overlay so there you can see the crisscross pattern. Let me lower the scale so you can see it. So there's the crisscross. And that's what happens. And that's how you create a pattern. This has been Tech Experts with another Photoshop tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoy. There's going to be more to come. Please subscribe.